Tui te rangi, tui te whenua, tui na matawaka. Na mate o te wā, haere, haere, haere. Huri rawa mai ki a tātou katoa, tihe mauri ora. The last week of a groundbreaking, history-making tour of Aotearoa by Ireland, and it's all eyes now on Te Whanganui Atara, Wellington, and it starts with the return match against the Māori All Blacks. <laughs> Josh Ioane sending a tricky kick down the middle and having a few problems controlling it, Ireland, and they did knock it on. So a little bit of deception right from the off. Cullen Grace has gone to the middle, but they send it to Manaki Selby Rickett, and they do go wide from the line out. Nankerville, Ioane, lovely little wraparound, and Sean Stevenson scores! Well, he had a blinder in Hamilton, and he's got them off to a great start in Wellington. Well, there was no more to be had at all. The Māori All Blacks take it down, set a fake more, draw a couple of people in, and they go wide straight from there. Sean Stevenson pushed him back. Nankerville floating it wide, but that is asking an awful Oxford. lot of Connor Garden Basham. And they're taking it quickly, Ireland, and Jordan Love is going to score. A brilliant heads-up play, and Ireland strike back. That is great work from Ireland, because they've had it tough it's for the gone. first seven minutes. Uh, and matter. probably the first person. mistake the Māori All Blacks make when Alex Nankerville chucks that into touch, and they get punished uh, straight away. Good heads-up play, and Ireland punish the Māori All Blacks straight away. Well, say, man, the skipper with 96 ca caps, and Keith Earls realised the situation to put the ball down. Māori don't react quick enough, but he does. Nice line by Lama off the skipper. That is a good reply by the Irish. Casey sends it away. It's building nicely here. This time, McCloskey with a little delayed pass, and they get a penalty. Now Kieran Frawley gets his chance to convert some points. And he sends it between the uprights. And so Ireland stretch their lead. It's 10 to 5 in Wellington. Perinara. Ioane now. Now Stevenson. Eklund getting close to the touchline. All Blacks calling for an offside here. Not getting it. And well, now they do. That was just... A uh, bit too ambitious from Jimmy O'Brien. They've taken it quickly. And I think there's going to be a yellow card here. Yeah, Walker Leawetti went off from the tap penalty. They didn't retreat, and Prendergast is going to the bin. Has been knocked back by Ireland, so they steal one. Well, that's brave stuff. To contest the line out so close to your own goal line, it puts you at risk from the driving mall. Well, Stevenson has got it, and this time got himself into a bit of trouble. Morby's there, but he's going to need some friends. 
Ireland have got numbers over the ball. And swooping through on it was Frawley. Well, that's a great steal from the number 10. And Ireland get it back. Jones taking it to the short side. Driven ahead by Lockman. And now the advantage to Ireland. They were offside. Edging towards the line. Scannell's got it. He's close. Can he get it down? Oh, good defence on the line from the Māori All Blacks. But again, they've conceded a penalty advantage. They'll have to be careful here. He's already sent one man to the bin. Double blow of the whistle. I think Ollie Norris is going so to be sitting down real quick. Been given is we're close to the goal line. You've just come clearly in the side. We're not looking at penalty try, but we're looking at a yellow card for the entry. And so now both teams are down to 14. Ireland piling in. Coombs, he's been denied once, denied again. Now O'Toole getting over the board. Tom O'Toole, has he got the leg drive to get it over again? He's playing advantage. Close to the line, now they're over. And it's Nick Timoney, the open side flanker, who scores the try. I know Coach Farrell really rates his back row and Prendergast, who's sitting down, Timoney and Coombs. You can see why, for such a young group. Man, oh man, they are absolutely powerful, and they're a good mix together as well. Three different players, but geez, good combo. Ireland lead the Māori All Blacks by 17 to 5 at half time. Well, Ioane is shaping the kick and then stepping nicely before he runs. Well, it runs into a, an upright tackle there from Jeremy Lockman. Referee deciding no harm done, so play carries on. And they get a penalty on him. Five's on his neck. Really good work at the breakdown from one of the try scorers, Nick Timoney. And chance here for some points right out in front, about 35 metres from the post. The focus on this man, Kieran Frawley, who's kicked really well in this game so far. Three out of three, and you can make it four out of four as Ireland opened the scoring in the second half, and they're building a good lead here. It's 20 to five. Pops a nice ball back, Morby straight up the middle. This is what they want to see from this very promising fullback. Nankable now, better hands that time, Guard Garden bash up and Howell and making a storming run down the touchline. Well, Garden Bassett's furious. He felt that he was being tackled before he got the ball. Referee no, no, thinks no, 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 otherwise. No, 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 no. So they will go upstairs. Now, we did see this in the test match. Okay, here's if the wide one. The is Connor Garden Bassett the, wide one. Yeah. the victim of foul play? The answer is yeah, yes. Does behind, it stop a try? Does it stop one. a probable so try? That's the question the they must, must ask. That player catches yeah. the ball. Are we looking at a free run to the line? I know. That's tackle. Well, he goes between the posts. It is a Clear penalty run. try. Jordan okay, Lama. Jordy, has he got comms? Can he has I gone can to the bin. I just couldn't hear you before. I can hear you now, yeah. The early tackle on Connor Garden Bashup. It's an automatic seven for the Māori All Blacks. <laughs> and it's bobbled possession too. Awkward, and now they can see the penalty. Brad Webber oh, holding on. Feet. Oh, really good work from Delaney, but then they've lost it forward, and Ireland have got it back. Just a metre from the line, Delaney won the ball in the air, but then it was knocked forward, and so Ireland now will look to kick the door down. Walker Leawitty has come through and he's tried to disrupt. Swarming defence on the goal line, led by Billy Harmon. Coombs getting over it, denied in the first half, not this time. Gavin Coombs scores. 25 to 12 with the kick to come. I swear this is a specialty for Gavin Coombs. He scored 15 tries for months in the 2021 season. And I swear all of them were about three metres close to the line. Set! Come on, Eddie! Come on, Eddie! Come on! 
Well, the All Blacks have tried to put pressure on at scrum time, but Ireland have always managed to clear the ball. The kick is picked up by Love, and off he goes. Great run down the middle from Ruben Love. He split them open. Cullen Grace is there in support. Loves the pass back and field. Oh, what a try! Maori rugby at its best. What a break from Ruben Love. Something out of nothing. And this is Maori All Black rugby at its best. And you'd start to think that maybe there is some hope. You mentioned it, TJ. They need to score three times. Well, here's number one. Ruben Love makes a break. Steps a number of Irish players. Finds Cullen Grace, ever present on the right. And then KT, Ruben Love gets over Hal Mekat. Oh, two Mekat, that's what that is. They needed some ejection, and Ruben Love, you just love the way he plays his game, always backs himself. That was like it was a nice pass on the fly. Cullen Grace, that one was even better. Oh, how good. And here's Joey Carberry. Oh, oh no, Stephen said, oh, I think he'll go here. He'll go here. Will he? He stuck a hand out. Oh, he's there, he can regather that. Clear line break opportunity, it's just whether he can regather the ball. And I'm not seeing him regather the ball. So, Remember, he, 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 I don't see any obstruction, he can't regather the ball. Is that 14? 14. Like as well? It'll be a 14. yellow card. 14. Deliberate not great. Let's go. A lovely little tip on from Baird to Michael Bent. Who finds himself back out on the field? He thought his Ireland days were over. Here's Baird. Now the flat pass, and Lama's going to get another, and that'll seal it. Yep, that's going to be the door shut, slam shut from the Irish. They've turned up here in Wellington, Te Whanganui Atara, and they've put on a clinic. Their kicks have been pinpoint. Leading the way is Karen Crawley. Lama's been good. They've had their opportunities in the game, but their hands have let them down. But Ruben Love has been brilliant since coming off the bench, and Brad Webber's going to score. That's another brilliant try for the Māori All Blacks. It's not going to be enough, but at least they'll have the last say. Well, it's almost too little too late. Ball at the back, Joshua won it. Just a little right foot step. And then a pinpoint perfect pass to the ever-present Brad Webber. And the Māori All Blacks will salvage some pride, albeit still lose the game to an excellent Irish team that has turned up to win. Ioane from right in front adds the conversion. But Irish eyes are smiling here in Wellington tonight. What a great start. To such a huge week. They've beaten the Māori All Blacks by 30 points to 24.